So next time you decide to not go in class, I just want you to simply go to your ATM, right? Go to your bank, ask to redraw $500 in cash, go to the dumpster that's near wherever you are, throw the $500 in there and go back to your apartment, go back to your room and sleep. Cause that's exactly what you're doing. What is going on everybody? My name is Salem Sony and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals just as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that they're God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And also, make sure you click on the notification button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. So we're still talking about how to form those success habits in the next 90 days that can be able to help us to be successful in this school year. So today I want to talk about how much is your class actually worth, right? Like some of you guys don't understand that every time you decide to skip a class, every time you decide to not show up, you're literally taking money and throwing that in the trash. I want you to do an exercise with me, right? I want, to, I want you to think of a number, right? Just a number in your head. Like how much is each of the classes that you're taking actually worth in dollars like how much money is each class actually worth not like each uh, subject that you're taking like you know biology whatever but each single class like monday tuesday wednesday at 8 a.m whatever the case like how much is that specific class of that specific day at that specific time how much is that worth in dollars right so think about number right now of what it is to give you guys a practical example what i decided to do is i decided to use my alma mater so i graduated from the pennsylvania state university all the way from state college pennsylvania uh, so i'm a proud penn stater and one of the things i decided to do is use numbers that are realistic so i went ahead and pulled up the tuition cost for the recent academic year so from whenever you're watching this this is from the 2016 2017 school year to give you guys kind of like a practical numbers that we can work with right i live in florida so if i wanted to go i'll be a out-of-state student so if you're an out-of-state student you're paying much higher than someone who lived in, in Pennsylvania and if you are an international student you're coming from overseas you've been paying an even higher cost so take that into consideration if I went to the University Park campus which is their main campus I would pay between forty four thousand dollars to forty seven thousand dollars six hundred and twelve dollars so something along just change so we can run it up to about forty eight thousand dollars right I'll be paying around forty eight thousand dollars a year to go and study at Penn State. Let's say if I was taking like a three credit course that required me to come into class about three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of class. Penn State uh, begins their, uh, their school year in August. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and April. Usually May is for about, you know, it's the end, your graduation. So there's really no classes you're taking in May. So let's take into account like vacation, holidays, and all these different things. So instead of nine months, really, it's gonna be about eight months because the most of December, you on break, a little bit of January, you on break, and you don't really start at the beginning of August. So if you take all these days, let's take away maybe like you know, a whole month. So we're left with eight months to begin with, all right? So how many weeks are in one month? That's four weeks. So if you take four weeks, you, divide, you multiply it by eight months, that gives you 32 weeks of schools that you're gonna be doing, right? So remember, in each single week, we're going to school three times. So you take 32 weeks that we're gonna be going to school, and the, that in each week, we're going three times. So 32 times three, that gives us 96 classes. And I know this can be divided into semesters and things like that. And um, if you're watching this overseas and you have a different system, just account and adjust to it based on what your numbers are, right? So 96 classes. So if I take the highest number, which is about $48,000, we're gonna round it up just for math purposes. And we're gonna be dividing that by 96 classes. That gives us $500. $500 for that 8 a.m. class. Can you imagine? $500. So that one hour that you're spending with your professor to learn whatever that information is, is worth $500. So the moment, next time you're thinking about sleeping in, what I want you to do is go to your bank, redraw $500, go to the nearest trash bin or dumpster where you are, throw the $500 and go back to sleep. Because that's exactly what you're doing by not showing up to class. You're throwing away $500. 
Isn't that crazy? And I don't know, depending on where you are, there are places that have higher, much higher tuition than that, $60,000, $70,000, $80,000 to attain that, that school a year. So every class you decide to not show up, just think about how much money you're actually throwing into the trash. Well, I hope that can give you a little bit of perspective today. And I hope if you're watching this, you actually get your butt up and go to class. Because as you can see, it's worth a lot of money. So you want to make sure that you're taking every single penny out of what you're paying to go to that school. Well, I hope this was able to kind of like be a wake up call for you to not skip class. So next time a friend says, hey, do you want to skip class? Just share this video with them. Hopefully it will help them. Well, that's all I have for you. Make sure you subscribe and also click that notification button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Yeah, that was all for me. Remember, you're God's very best, and I'll see you guys next time.